Hey guys, and welcome to my second vlog slash progress video. I didn't get to play too much RuneScape this week, it being Christmas and everything, so I was pretty busy, but I'd like to think I got a good amount done. So, here it is, and enjoy! So Recipe for Disaster is a quest that I've been dreading for a pretty long time, and there was a time when I thought that getting all the requirements for this quest would be impossible, but um, obviously I've gotten there. So um, I accidentally started it a long time ago, and it's been yellow on my list for a very long time, so I finally decided, alright, I'm going to go to the GE, give the cook those items he needs, and um, yeah. So it took me about five to six hours tops, and two of two of those hours I spent catching rats, which I'll get to in a second, but it wasn't nearly as challenging as I thought it would be. Then again, my mindset on what this quest would be like was formed like years ago, when this game overall seemed a lot more difficult. And yeah, so here's the part I was talking about, and uh, it kind of made me want to punch holes in my face. I knew that going in, this was going to be a pain because I have a kitten, and figured that the time turning it into a cat would be longer than catching all the rats. So, like I said, this took me around two hours to do, because first of all, my kitten can't catch rats for its life, but secondly, I never caught the damn ones that I needed, like the right spices. So I spent around an hour just trying to get one red spice, or like two doses of uh, red spice, after finding out that the doses I needed, like doing that whole test thing and giving it to him and seeing which spices you needed and what doses. And of course I needed more reds than any other, despite the fact that I got like no reds. So it was a bad time. But yeah, my kitten turned into a hell kitten, so that was interesting. And yeah, so everything else pretty much went pretty well, pretty smooth. Yeah, and I thought the part where you went underwater was pretty cool. And I actually gained a smithing level from one of the mini quests. And so yeah, I'm 55 smithing now, woohoo! Big levels there. But obviously yeah, I plan on getting that to 99 eventually. But not yet. And here's the other annoying part. This took me, alright, it wasn't as annoying as the, the rat thing, but this took me four tries to get this on vid. Like, I stood there waiting with that balloon, sitting there, waiting for this bird to appear, expecting it to appear, and it never did until this one. And I figured I'd record this just because it brought back memories of my fear to AFK back in the day. And there's a dragon. Alright, so I've had this monkey skull for a long time that I looted from a zombie impling jar. So I finally decided, since I needed the ape thing, the ape talisman, finally decided to turn it into a talisman, and I got my blue monkey. I hear it's pretty rare, so that's kind of cool. And there it is. And please tell me I'm not the only one who's walked into this snake pit thinking that it was the ape atoll dungeon. I know I have a couple friends that have died because of that, but uh, I always thought that there was like no purpose to this place. It was just like a prank by Jagex, but I guess it does serve a purpose. And yeah, so now I can teleport to Ape Atoll, too. So that's a good thing, even though I'm usually on Ancient, so it doesn't really help me too much. I usually just use Grand Seed Pods, and it's not that much shorter, but yeah, whatever. That's cool. So overall, it wasn't too bad. Uh, most of the bosses were pretty easy. The only ones that gave me a little trouble were the gelatinous, whatever it's called, because apparently I'm colorblind. And the Cola Narrowmancer just because he was hitting pretty high and I wasn't expecting it. But I got it done with. I thought this part was kind of funny. And I wanted to put my experience into rune crafting, but I'm 48 and apparently it had to be 50. So I was like, hmm, should I just train two more levels? But I was like, nah, whatever. So I just went with agility. And I didn't pick Slayer because I actually enjoy training Slayer. And yeah, so you see me getting my Barrow's Gloves there. Um, significantly better than Dragon Gauntlet's believe it or not. <laughs> yeah, and afterwards I realized I only had a couple days until Troll Invasion would reset. So I went to do that, which was pretty annoying because I was lagging real bad because I was in high detail and I was recording, so it got really slow. But I got it done with and spent the experience on Slayer. And yeah, so then I went to do my Dust Devil task. And one of my goals in this game is to get a Dragon Chain Body from these guys because apparently it's really hard to get. And I know some people that have gotten them. So, I know it's possible. Alright, so in my last progress video, a couple people told me that living rock creatures are a good combat experience, so I took them off, and thanks for that. 
And there was also someone who said I should cancel more tasks, but keep in mind, I only have like 170-something quest points, so I can't cancel more than three, permanently cancel more than three, until I get more quests done. But yeah, to comment on my setup for Mythal Dragons here, since I don't ha bring food, and I can't get like soul split yet, uh, I'd basically just use Blood Barrage, I bring Blood Barrage runes to heal up when my HP gets down and then I continue using the polypore spell thing whatever it is and then I got Abbey Spectres which is one of my favorite tasks and it's one of the best tasks you can get actually from what I hear and yeah they're they're pretty good with blue charm drops and once I actually got two consecutive champion scroll drops which was pretty weird considering the chances of that happening and um, I've only gotten I've only ever gotten one champion scroll before in my life, and it was from Hill Giants, I think? It was either Hill Giants or Moss Giants. I'm pretty sure it was Hill Giants, though. Then I moved on to Greater Demons, and later on here I actually came across some bots, which was pretty suckish. They, they ran from the Green Dragons to pick up my ashes, and uh, luckily they don't have summons, or else I would have scold. I mean, obviously they don't have summons. Bots never have summons, but it would have been a pain. But yeah, for those of you who don't know about this spot, it's in the Revenants, the Revenant Cave, and it's a pretty good spot, as long as no one kills you. And to comment on this, this was a pretty interesting Dark Beast task, I actually wasn't going to record it, but then uh, I got a Dark Bow, and I was like, ah, oh, I didn't record it, and then right afterwards I got another Dark Bow, I was like, whoa, that's okay, so I recorded myself picking that up, and a little while later I got another Dark Bow, so uh... Yeah, a pretty successful Dark Beast task. And then I got 92 defense, as you saw there. So, on my way to 99. And yeah, here's just me price checking this stuff. Um, I usually don't pick up, like, the keys and, like, the Dragonstone. But, I, yeah, I got two rare drop table drops r in a row. It's, I don't know, that was a weird task. I kept getting weird drops, and I got 92 defense. So, there you go. And last but not least, I finished up the holiday event, which I had been waiting to do for two days, because I had finished all the tasks, or like whatever you had to do for the event, and then my charger broke, which sucked. So I finally got a new one earlier today, and was finally able to finish editing and recording over this vid, so yay for that. So thanks for watching, guys. I think I'm going to try to get two of these out a week, if not at least one. College doesn't start back up again until the 15th, so I have time. So yeah, stay tuned for the next one, and peace.